Hi, my name is Nacho, welcome back to our channel. And I didn't do much for New Year's. No flashy parties or anything like that, mainly because the sky on this side of Australia was pretty much falling on top of us, so I chose to start 2024 with a classic. Rewatching The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, to see if I could line up the start of the year with third and saying, So it begins. And it's true that we haven't had movies like that in a while. The one thing that really surprised me this time around was my reaction to pretty much every scene involving King Theoden. And since my video on strong female protagonists, I got curious to see if I could do a similar one about good male protagonists. This video is kind of like that, although not quite what I have in mind, there are still a lot of good ones to consider, so feel free to comment down below which ones are your favorite ones that inspire you, whether they are good or bad. But why is it so important to have good male characters? There's a lot of amazing role models in PJ's original trilogy, but there's something about Theoden that made me appreciate him so much more this time around. We live in a time, and it's not even subtle anymore, where the roles of strength are being transferred, sometimes very forcefully, towards women. This is done well in some cases and absolutely terrible in others, check my video about it, and has created a bit of a vacuum for proper masculine characters that make me realize how massively good the King of Rohan is. From the moment he's introduced, Theoden is already in a terrible state. He's been cursed by Saruman, poisoned by Grima, his son is on death's door and later dies, his kingdom is being destroyed by orcs and they don't say it in the movie but his wife died during childbirth, so the guy is absolutely getting pummeled by life and he needs to be saved a lot. First by Gandalf from Saruman's control, then by the elves when they showed up at the Battle of Honberg after he said there is no help coming, then by Aragorn when the orcs are about to break into the keep, then by Eomer and Gandalf again at the end of the battle, and finally by Eowyn, a strong character that is female, against the Ringwraith in Return of the King where he finally dies. Despite all the help that he needs to get back on his feet after constantly dealing with loss, he bounces back in the most epic way imaginable with speeches so masterfully written they make you want to wrestle a bull just by listening to them but what does that resilience look like take the fourth aerolingus scene the orcs are about to break in we fucking lost everyone is going to get killed he took a spear to the armpit and he rightfully goes it's over how can men fight against so much hate which pretty accurately describe modern day woke movies and how they treat their audience but Aragorn keeps him from falling into despair and goes, ride with me. Let's buy your people as much time as we can so they can escape and let's give our death purpose. Now call that the last stand feeling, when everything is lost and choosing death over flight is the only honorable choice, much like Sun Tzu said in The Art of War, to which he goes for death and glory. And that just made me smile so hard. Bernard Hill's delivery is so epic, he fills you with energy when he says it. Let's let's see a snippet of it. Yes. The horn of Helm Hammerhand shall sound in the deep. One last time. Yes! Let this be the day that we draw swords together. Fell deeds awake, now for wrath, now for ruin, and a red dawn slaps on his helmet, and I wanna punch my way out of my room for no other reason than just to answer that call to arms. There hasn't been dialogue like that. Nothing in the Rings of Power ever had or ever will come close to that. Why does a boat float and a rock doesn't? Because the boat looks up. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. There's a tempest in me? That's indigestion. You're constipated, gal. Even in films where the weight of situation is similar, they add a funny quip to break the tension. No! Keep the tension as much as you can. That's what makes for excellent dialogue. That and having talented actors delivering those lines, the fact that a movie from 22 years ago can still move you so much, it's incredible. And that's not even mentioning the ride of the Rohirrim. But despite how epic he is, what rekindled my love for the character was how real he is. He carries the weight of his crown, but in the face of complete annihilation, he falters. How did it come to this? And that is such an important line, because he's saying that to one of his captains. Who am I gambling? That's a troubling phrase, to hear from the guy that's meant to be your leader. But again, rewind that a little bit when Aragorn says, Saruman forces are coming to kill everyone. What would you have me do? I'm gonna do what I can with what I have, because that's my duty as a king. And he's a good king, which is why his men follow him, why the people follow him. 
even in the face of a seemingly unwinnable fight. Which is why to the question, who am I? His captain replies, you are the king and we'll follow you to whatever end. And you can't get that from a woman, that's just how it is. Which is why titles like Woman King are ridiculous. You've got kings and you've got queens. Queens can be inspirational in the face of an enemy, which usually happens when the king is absent, but in a different way. Women can lead by compassion, by resilience, by being cunning or beautiful or being strong of character. A king is able to inspire his men in a very particular way. He can lead them from the front lines where a queen cannot. That's why Queen Regent Muriel standing in a bright gold armor with a pepper look on her face as she watches Galadriel kill everything means absolutely nothing because there is no feeling of leadership coming from her. Which is why making men appear weak to make women seem strong seldom works. It just doesn't feel natural. Exceptions, of course, are completely possible. Let's take, for example, Eowyn in the very trilogy. The difference is there was a huge build-up towards her moment and she wasn't utterly insufferable throughout that. So you can have both. You should have both. Strong men and women and let the audience connect with whomever they feel the closest to instead of forcing a specific character into them i.e. Galadriel. But it's the strength of men, the resilience in the face of complete annihilation and the selfless sacrifice that that can inspire that can't be replaced. Same with the concepts of courage and honor. Strong men can make those resonate with other men and they have since the beginnings of time. Doubting or being vulnerable doesn't decrease a man's worth as long as he's able to overcome that in favor of his values. That's just part of being human. And Theoden is able to display all of that, which helps create a massive connection with the character. Some examples that are already in my mind for my next video where this is also the case are Leonidas, Maximus, Hector of Troy, Elrond, Gottfried of Evelyn. Feel free to comment more if you have anyone else in mind. But Theoden being a beacon of strength for his men, while dealing with the death of his son, the attack on his people by evil forces, and the potential end of mankind, is such a great example why we need strong male characters. They inspire you not to give up, even when the chips are fully down, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Seeing a man overcome such adversities, while advocating for strength and honor, is always going to be impactful. You don't need a perfect powerful man that can crush someone's skull with their palm, who is not affected by anything and goes around fucking any women that they lay their eyes on. Yeah, those guys are cool, but they're not real, or they are rare, so you can't really relate to them. I can assure you, with 100% confidence that none of them is going to have the impact that Bernard Hill had on a generation of people who will rewatch The Return of the King and will shout DEATH at the top of their lungs every time the right of the Rohirrim comes into the screen. But if you watched this video, really leave us a like, check out this video next, let me know in the comments down below which is the male character that comes to your mind when you think of inspiration, and as always I've been Nacho, hope you enjoyed the video, happy new years, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.